Sometimes the simplest method is the best method. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are here today to talk about checklists. Now, I know it might seem kind of silly, but when it comes to checking all of your gear, right? Pre-combat checks for yourself, pre-combat inspections when you're checking on someone else's gear, having a list, a short, handy, quick list to check makes a difference. It ensures that you don't miss anything. When you get all suited and booted, you know, we have quite a few things to check on, right? We have our rifle and we have our pack and we gotta make sure we have all the stuff in the pack and we gotta make sure we have all our equipment on us personally and you know, what's in your pockets. Like there's a lot of different stuff to check. And having a quick, handy, consolidated list that you can reference in order to make sure you don't forget anything makes all the difference in the world. And so with that, I developed these two checklists that I put on laminated paper. Uh, one is a 12 hour and less checklist. So just kind of your standard checklist of stuff you'd need for 12 hours and under. And the other is a 24 hour and I, put, I think I put in 72 hour checklist, essentially 24 hours and above. And between these two checklists, you should be able to cover most of the things that you need. So let's take a look at the tabletop and I will show you how I think these should be utilized. So when I envisioned these checklists, uh, I envisioned them as quick, handy reference guides, right? They're pretty small. They can fit in a chest pocket. They can fit in a chest rig. They can fit just about anywhere so that you can always have them with you. And I made them as generic and versatile as possible. So there's a full description on the website of what's all on here and you can, you can check that list. However, you also can add things to them, which we'll get to in a minute. So the way I envisioned this being worked is that you would go down the list and either use a grease pencil or maybe a wet erase marker. You could probably use a dry erase marker if you really want, but you would go through and you would check things, right? So, yep, the weapon's loaded. Yep, there's an optic. Yes, the light works. Yes, the laser works, etc. And you can go all the way down the list. Uh, again, you could do the same thing with a grease pencil, right? And you could come down here and say, yep, we have water. Yep, we have a compass. Yep, we have all this stuff and make sure that you're all good to go. Now, if you get my list and you don't like it because maybe there's something on here that you're never gonna have or you're never gonna use, right? So for example, there's thermals. And you're like, well, I don't have thermals. I don't really care about checking that. You can take a permanent marker, and remember, it is permanent, and you can come through and just cross that one out. And give that a little bit to dry, and of course, that's not gonna wipe away, right? That's gonna stay there because it's permanent. Let's just say that there's always something you do carry that's not on the list or not accounted for in a way you would like. Let's say you always like to carry Skittles, right? Whenever you go out, you really like getting that titanium dye they use in those Skittles to poison yourself. So on the back of this list, I left them all blank so that you could again take that permanent marker, which remember, it's permanent, and you could write on the back, Skittles. So that when you go out, you can flip this sucker over and you can check that. Now, after that's had a little bit to dry here, you can of course then use your wet erase marker or again, dry erase, grease pencil, whatever, to come through and check that item off. And then when you're all done, you'll erase that, permanent marker will stay, and the wet erase marker will go away. So I tried to make these as versatile as possible. They're gonna come in a pack of two, right, with the 12 hour and the 24 hour together. So one order, you're gonna get both of them sent over to you. I hope that's helpful. Go ahead and click through the link down in the description to go over to the website and get them if you think they would be helpful for you. I hope this prepares you to be a better Minuteman and do brave deeds and endure.